So for today's lab, we're going to be doing, doing a gravimetric analysis procedure where we will have uh, calcium chloride dihydrate and a sodium carbonate, um, two different solutions in each beaker. We're going to combine them together to form a precipitant, which will then be filtered uh, from our filtering apparatus where we can catch the precipitant and dry it and weigh it and do some analysis on that. Let's get started. Now, now all we're going to do is add our sodium carbonate from the weigh boat into the speaker. And then we want to quantitatively transfer it. So that means that there's still some solid in this weigh boat. So we're using this DI bottle, we can squeeze out some and get some of the remaining solid in there into the beaker. And then we're going to add our 50 milliliters of DI water from this graduated cylinder. We're going to add it to the beaker. There's a stir bar in there. And so now what we're going to do is add this to the hot plate. We're going to turn up the heat a little bit, kind of keep it on low heat. And then we're going to turn on the stirring part of this uh, stir plate and get it stirring and we'll wait for it until it is completely in solution. Okay, so now we're going to do, going to do our calcium chloride dihydrate solution. So where the sodium carbonate is finished and so now it's time for us to do the same thing with our calcium chloride. And again, we're going to quantitatively transfer the remaining solid that is in the weigh boat using some distilled water. We're going to catch every little bit of solid that's left in there, transfer it to the beaker. And then again, add our 50 milliliters of distilled water into our beaker here. We're going to put it on the hot plate, again on low heat, and let it stir until it's finished. So now, so now our calcium chloride solution is finished dissolving. Our sodium carbonate solution is also finished. So we're going to combine the two to form our precipitant. sure that all of the, all of the uh, sodium carbonate got into the solution the speaker here we're going to rinse out the walls of it with some di distilled water and then transfer that as well sure so it's been about two about two minutes and we can see that it's still stirring and it has that white precipitate formed so now i'm going to turn off the stirring to allow the precipitant to settle to the bottom of the beaker before we start filtering. Now we're going to set up our filtration device. Uh, we're going to have a weigh boat labeled. We have our filter and we have an Erlenmeyer flask here and our filter paper that we're going to fold in half. Fold this in half again to form a quarter circle and then we'll tear off a corner of our filter paper. We'll put this onto the weigh boat. We'll zero out our scale because we need to weigh this first. We'll let it equilibrate. We'll record that mass. And then now with our filter paper, we can form a little funnel by just opening it up, placing this into the filter. And then we can seal the sides of the filter paper with some DI water just to get it to stick to the side so that it stays flat. And now our filtration device is ready to go. So now, so now we're going to filter our supernatant from our precipitant here. So you can see that they've formed two different layers. Our precipitant is sitting at the bottom with the rest of our supernatant sitting at the top. So the way we're going to filter this is we're going to have this glass stir rod. We're going to carefully, without disturbing the solid, pour out some of the supernatant down the glass stir rod. So that way I'm not moving much of the solid that's sitting at the bottom of the beaker. So we're doing this carefully and allowing the filter to filter out any of the calcium carbonate that might be in the liquid.
and you can see I'm doing this slowly so that I'm not overfilling the filter too much so that way it doesn't overflow so it looks like it's kind of full so we'll let that sit for a little bit so it can finish filtering and we'll continue the rest of the liquid so now, so now that we have most of our supernatant in here what we're going to do is swirl all of our precipitant to get it all in solution real quick and then we're going to pour it out real fast just to get all of it to come out we'll let that sit for a little bit to finish twirling and then i'll get the remaining We see that there's still some in here. So what we can do is get um, some distilled water, rinse out the edges and the walls of the beaker. Give that a quick swirl. And pour that out. So now that most of the supernatant has drained and we have our precipitant in the filter what I wanted what I did was transferred some of the new supernatant from the Erlenmeyer flask into another beaker just because this is going to get continued to get full because we're going to add a little bit more DI water to this just to finish washing it out I'm going to do a, a few little uh, rinses here one or uh, two or three is fine so we'll just finish rinsing it out and we'll let that continue to drain and then we'll move on from there. Now, now that all of our precipitate has been collected into our filter, what we're going to do now is carefully remove the filter so we don't rip it. Fold it in half to cover all the precipitate that's in there and we're going to place it gently on a piece of, some piece of paper and just kind of try and remove some of that excess water we're going to pat it gently all right we're going to remove some of the water here so once i'm seeing that there's not really a whole lot more water coming out that looks pretty good what we'll do now is transfer this to our way boat and I'm going to open this so that way the precipitant is kind of exposed out into the open. We'll place this on our um, way boat there and this is all going to go into the microwave. We'll put it for about 10 seconds and this is going to start the process of drying the precipitant really well. We're going to remove all of that water. So this is done. We'll see how kind of it looks. It's still obviously wet. And so we're just going to keep doing it 10 seconds at a time. Because if we go any more than that, then we have this uh, situation where we might cause the precipitant to pop out and then we lose some precipitant. So we don't want that. So after having dried the precipitant with the filter and the weigh boat a few times, we're sitting at 6.155 grams. So we're going to continue to microwave this so that way we can get consecutively three masses that are only 0 0.005 grams from each other. So we can see how close we are now by taking our sample. Pop this in the microwave. About 10 seconds. And we'll see how we're doing. So if we pop this onto we're now sitting at 6.065. .06 so we we've lost about 0.1 grams. So we're not quite where we want to be, so we'll have to continue to microwave this and reweigh this until we get those three consecutive masses. 
So as you can see, I've spent like the last 10 minutes just getting weights uh, by microwaving and reweighing my precipitant with my weigh boat. And as you can see here, these last three, this one, this one, and this one, are all um, 0 0.005 from each other. So that is our final weight of our precipitant in uh, the filter, which is on that weigh boat there.